Happy January 30th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar by Sundial Games, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Merrick did not do a great job gathering intel and planning his heist. He was a bit too distracted by the thrill of the leaf riding tournament starting up around him and the easy pickpocketing targets right in front of him. He collected quite a bit of loot, a warding ointment, a combat tonic, and four amber total. But he wants to become a member of the Thieves Guild, and to do that, he's going to have to focus on his mission. He needs to get into Crownspire Castle and obtain a leaf from the Tree of Seasons in the midst of the festivities of the Leaf Turning Festival. So... Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for today. That looks like combat. Okay. Hey, what are you doing up here? That's exactly what squirrels sound like. Hey! Just as the next contest round is about to begin, two guards have spotted you. They climb up and rush across the branch to apprehend you. Uh, looks like there's three guards. Maybe they call a third. Um, let's see. The squirrel, so guard one, the squirrel tries to grab you by wrapping you up with his tail. Guard two, the guard throws his twig spear at you. Guard three, the chipmunk tries to tackle you. There's a chipmunk piling on. If you're... Uh, and then we have the normal combat rules. <clears throat> um, and then it uh, looks like you leap off the branch and sail into the leaf riding competition. So assuming, <laughs> assuming we survive, uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're not going to... We have ten health, so <clears throat> in the worst case, we'll only be half dead. But uh, it looks like we'll do one round of combat and then flee. And we'll get some amber for our troubles. So, here we go. Combat. We do have our... <clears throat> so, our locksmith ability won't help us. Lucky. <clears throat> Whenever you roll a 1 on a d20, re-roll and take the new result. That's excellent. Um, that's just always in play. Once per page, re-roll constitution roll. That won't help here. Once per page, add d4 to a single attack roll. So, we might use that. So that's our void bolt. We have this warding ointment, which can add, which can help with a single defense roll, and the combat tonic, which can help with a single attack roll. Let me double check that. Warding, warding ointment, defense add plus two, combat tonic add a d4 to attack rolls. Originally, this was written as uh, every roll on a page, but there was an errata issued. Um, these are supposed to only affect a single roll. And I believe we can decide to use those in the moment. Um, for abilities, you may decide to use them once you see the outcome of a round. You can use healing abilities in the middle of a combat. During a combat, a health potion can only be used at the beginning or end. You can use other items in the middle of combat. I don't know what middle of combat means. Beginning or the end of a page. Not in the middle of combat rounds. Okay, I think that means we can use it. Health potion, we'd have to wait until everybody attacked us. Uh, but these other potions we can use in the moment. But maybe we have to use them before the roll. Abilities, we can decide to use after the roll. The, uh, this could really help. An example would be welcome here. Healing abilities in the middle of a combat page between rounds. Oh, uh, I don't know. We're going to do what we're going to do. <laughs> we'll sort it out later. Okay. Um, in fact, I don't think we'll even use those because we're just trying to escape. Uh, we're most worried about our health. Here we go. In any case, we're going to roll a d20. Our attack roll um, is 10. Plus 1 attack is 11. 
that is enough to overcome the guard's defense. Now we'll roll damage, which is a d10. Oh, where's my d10? Here it is. That's a 10. Wow, okay, so <laughs> that guard is defeated. Um, if you hit and your damage roll exceed, equals or exceeds, the guard is defeated. Excellent. Next guard. Oh, that's a, that would be an automatic failure, but Merrick is lucky. So whenever you roll a 1 on a d20, re-roll. Take the new result. 19. Excellent. Um, yeah, lucky in my experience in any, any game I've played. It's a very powerful uh, trait to have. Um, so 19, that easily defeats, uh, bypasses that guard's defense. Our attack again is 10, uh, that's a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Uh, so let's see, if you miss or the guard is not defeated, it attacks you. If your defense roll, so let's do our defense roll. Oh, once per page add d4 to a single attack roll. That wouldn't help us here. Um, defense. Our defense is plus three, so 14, 17. We defend. If your defense roll equals or exceeds the guard's attack, reduce your health by the guard's partial damage. So we take one damage. Uh, mark that down here. Down to nine. He gets us while we're performing our excellent uh, crossbow attack on the first squirrel. Um, that's the second guard. Now this chipmunk. Three. That's not great. Four. Yeah, the chipmunk. Um, we're going to have to defend against the chipmunk. We did not defeat him. 15. Defense is 3. 18. That easily overcomes his attack of 10. So, we defeat two of the guards. Um, so while we're doing this, somehow we manage to uh, snag or pilfer two amber. We're up to six. Six amber, down by one health, and we leap off the branch dramatically and sail into the leaf riding festival. That was not bad at all. Uh, it's unfortunate to have been spotted because we were hoping to um, escape unnoticed into the Crown Spire Castle. Uh, we will discover the consequences of that tomorrow. We'll say goodbye for today, and uh, I hope you will join us tomorrow for another day with Merrick. Thanks for watching.